Alright guys, rant number seven, Russ Whitaker. You guys know, should know my name by now. This rant is gonna be on one of our little insects. That, whatever uh, is wrong with my phone moving. Hold on a second. Whatever that problem is, okay. Number seven, obviously, bees. Bees are like, okay. They are cool, they're very interesting little insects for the main part, but they're annoying. Here's why. You can't wear bright colors around them or they get pissed off and they'll sting you to death. Number two, don't piss them off. Number three, never throw a rock at a hive. You should all know this by now. I made the mistake when I was little and I got chased by a huge swarm of them. They are like, they're like the easiest creature. They like PMS constantly. It, Jesus, fun. They, they PMS constantly, literally. If you piss them off or if you so much is look at them the wrong way, they're gonna sting you. And that is terrible. Why? Because now I can't even stay still in this spot. This is the only spot in my house that's actually clear from them. So, I don't have to worry about getting stung. So that's a relief. Good thing. So, that's that. Uh, yeah. So, bees. Okay, yeah, they pollinate our flowers. They're good for that. They are, they make honey. Which honey? I love honey. It's very delicious. But it's just like, it depends on the bee. A lot of bees, there's a saying, if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Well, I tested that theory, and for some bees, it's correct. Whenever you get to the wasps, however, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work like that, people. <laughs> Nothing like a wasp crawling into your ear and stinging you and just walking right back out like, oh, I don't know that guy. Yeah, well, um, too bad you weren't just like two inches closer so I could smash you with my foot. Too bad. It's funny how something so small can be such a threat to us. We're, how big are we? I mean, like, they're, they're insects, for God's sakes. They're insects. And they sting you, and then it's like, oh wow, so you're telling me I'm afraid of this little insect and I'm a big person? Where, where does this comparison come into place? I don't know. What can we do to prevent this? Number one, we have that off spray, which doesn't work at all. We even have these Android and iPhone apps that apparently repels mosquitoes, which mosquitoes, oh, that's my next topic. I won't even get into it now. That's another time when it becomes later in the summer because I'm sure we'll get plenty of them. And next time you see me, I'll be covered in hives, head to toe. I'll be scratching like I'm some, I'm like I'm some kind of addiction or something. Is happens sometimes. Okay, so that's good. Uh, yeah, advice to everyone: avoid the bees. You know, if, if you don't want to be around them, then don't be around them. Like, try to move away from them. Especially, don't try swatting at them. That's like the fucking stupidest thing you could ever do. Because then they're gonna seem like they're threatened, and they're gonna sting you. And the problem is, once one stings you, then the rest will know to sting you. Especially if you piss them off. So don't piss them off. Don't swat at them. Just walk away or run like a little two-year-old girl. Pick something to do. There's a truck. Pick something to do besides violence. Violence is not always the answer. Okay. Maybe it is. Maybe if you smash it, it won't come back. I can smash many things, and I have. <laughs> that can be taken in two ways. Well, we're gonna take it in two ways because this is the whole gist of the video. So. Bottom line is, don't piss them off. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that one friend you have that you always pick on, and then one day you like, you pick on him one more time, and then he snaps and he ends up hitting you. You see, that happens, and it was playful. It wasn't intended to be like that, but he took it the wrong way. Bees have the same mentality. If you fuck around with them too much, then obviously you're gonna get stung. I mean, it's not that hard. Hey, why don't you just wear like a bright yellow shirt? Then they'll be on you like uh, fleas on shit, basically. So, you know, you could do that too. My I, my recommendation, wear a color with actually, this is going to attract bees too, believe it or not. It's brighter. It's a darker red, but it still, it glows pretty well. Wear dark colored clothes, especially on a nice hot summer day. Even though it's hard to do that, bees will be less attracted to you. They don't like dark colors as much. So that's a big deal. Keep away from the bright clothes, especially if you're in an area with wasps, bees, any insect uh, that can cause you bodily harm. Like those fuckers. Oh, speaking of them, there's one right there. Yeah, and it's flying around the area. You see, if I get stung on camera, it's just going to prove my point even more. And if I do get stung on camera, I'm going to a hospital because I'm allergic. So, <laughs> avoid those, please, for the love of God. What, they're only not even an inch in size, and we are, myself, 5'8" and they can terrorize us. What's gonna happen one day, people? If you keep killing them, there's gonna be like an apocalypse and they're all gonna swarm in and sting everybody and kill everybody and that's it. They roll, we're out. We're like, we're dead. 
were nothing to the human population. They rule everything. It's like cannibalism reinvented. So, that's that. Alright guys, that's all the time I have in 5 minutes. These videos are getting surprisingly longer. So, I'll be back on with plenty more within the next couple of days, I'm sure. So, alright, everyone take care. Avoid the bees. Or, just stay away, period. Or, put yourself in a bee suit. Even though you may look gay, it will save you. Have a good one.